you're in Arizona to watch your brother yeah. play, and you're right now in a car with Shelby Miller. Can we say hi yes, to sir. Shelby? Can we say hi yeah, to him? Yeah, there's Shelby. Shelby, don't text and drive, especially when you're on camera now. My bad. No, I'm looking hey, for directions. He's trying to find us a fishing hole right now. We just finished some golf, trying to catch some bass. Just, you know, pure outdoorsman right now. So, off season, how much time do you take before you get back into uh, baseball mode? Oh, I've already been starting baseball mode. Uh, as soon as the season ended, I took like a week off and got back to lifting, got back to, you know, hitting a little bit and just trying to make sure that this year is the year I kind of start figuring things out. I was talking to uh, John Mazalock, and uh, among the things that they want to do for next year is improve defensively, and he was kind of insinuating that Colton Wong at second base is an important aspect of what the Cardinals hope to do defensively, and it seems like they want to put you there and and, and kind of hope that you get going and, and just carry it through. I mean, the first thing I was ever told when I got drafted, you know, I had to work out at Bush Stadium, worked out at Jose Alcano. The first thing he said was, don't worry about offense. I want you to win a gold glove. And, you know, when someone like that tells you that, you, you take a lot of pride in that. And, you, I mean, I wanted to prove this guy right. So, you know, I really – I guess the past couple of years, I didn't really focus too much offensively as I, I wanted to become defensively the best I could because of what he told me. And, you know, now that I'm starting to figure out my defense, I think my offense will start clicking as well because usually when I'm playing good defense, everything else kind of comes with it. Now, last year you got off to a slow start defensively and offensively. Yeah. And as you got more playing time, you became really a game changer with your defense, uh, you yeah. know, especially in the latter part of the season. How, how difficult is that to separate one from the other where if you're not hitting, you still want to make sure the defense is there and vice versa in some cases? Yeah, you know, I think starting off the season, man, I kind of I took I got the deal and, you know, was real excited about the deal, wanted to become more of a leader on the team, wanted to, you know, get more, I guess, you know, jobs put on my back to, to you know, carry as much load as I could. And instead of understanding that I still got to play baseball, I still got to, you know, go out there and produce and, you know, so I kind of took, I guess, the deal too far instead of understanding that, you know, they paid me for what I've proven to them. And if I just continue to play my game, you know, everything will take care of itself. And that's what I started figuring out towards the end is that I'm going to play my game and you know, I'm not going to worry about anything else but what I can control. That, uh, that contract, did that make you put undue pressure on yourself? Oh, yeah, 100%. Um, you know, because you don't, you, don't you don't want the fans to think you're playing strictly for the money. You know, and you don't want people to think that, you know, since I got the money, you know, I'm just going to cash it in. Uh, you know, I started working. As soon as I got that deal, I started working even harder, trying to figure out how to make my swing, you know, the swing that I know it has to be. Uh, you know, I talked to a lot of the hitting coaches after, you know, in the beginning of the season, and I told them, man, I, you know, my swing has, hit, has reached its apex. You know, it wasn't the swing that is going to produce in the big leagues, and I knew that. And, and coming into the season, I kind of knew that, and I wanted to make the changes and, you know, fortunately, it wasn't the best timing, but I knew that in order for me to continue to get better as a player and to become the player I know I can be, I needed to make these changes. So, you know, it wasn't the best year, but I know that I'm learning still, and I, I learned a lot from this year. Are you watching the World Series, or do you try to unplug from baseball? Kind of both. You know, you definitely want to unplug from baseball, but, man, it's hard when you got the World Series right in front of your face and everyone's just throwing it around, and, you know, you want to see what's going on. How about the Cubs? They're on a roll, and I think Cardinal fans are saying, okay, you know, the, the Cubs seem like they're in a good spot for the next few years. What are the Cardinals going to do to sort of see that raise and, and maybe push some more in? I mean, I, I think a lot of people, you know, overlooked our, our uh, record against the Cubs this year. We actually played them really well. You know, it's just we had some weeks and – some bad stretches come along where we lost some games where we, we, we couldn't afford it. And, uh, you know, that showed when it came down to the very end that, you know, we, we won the last game of the season and still didn't make playoffs. So, you know, it just goes to show that, you know, we're still – we're growing as a team. We had to do some changes. And, you know, the guys that we have right now, like Aledmus, Piscotti, you know, Gritchick moving over, you got guys who are young guys who have proven themselves in the big leagues already. And, you know, it's exciting for the coming up years to see how these guys do and, you know, for how – guys like me and Walker and, you know, City come back. Ask, uh, ask Shelby if uh, he thinks the interview is going well so far and if he misses being on Fox Sports Midwest at all. <laughs> you miss of course it? I do, Jimmy. <laughs> yeah. 
Now you're looking for a place to fish, honestly. Yeah, in Arizona, I was like, we're not going to catch nothing in Arizona. There's no fish down here. You said we were going to catch nothing in that one time in Jupiter, too. Do you remember that? Yeah, we did catch in Jupiter. That's because you're not in the Fox Sports Midwest van. That's why. (laughs) Uh, All right, well, anything anything good going on the offseason besides uh, visiting with your brother and uh, looking for a fishing (laughs) spot? You know, one of the off seasons, he got married. Any big news? Ch- expecting a child? Anything going on? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, uh-uh. no, expecting <laughs> nothing yet. <laughs> uh, uh-uh. not ready for that. Not yet. No. All right, guys. Well, no, it... just enjoying this off season, man. That's all. All right. Well, Shelby, good seeing you. Colton, good seeing you. And uh, hopefully, you find a, a fishing spot. I and see you too. La- too. Last time, as I recall, Shelby won the whole thing because he caught the uh, the fish. I... He did. I caught the sign, though. (laughs) He did. All right, boys, thank you. (laughs) All right, Jim, have a good one. All right, see you.